You did score two tries. Which one was your favourite? Oh, they're both always fun. Obviously, pick and goes are always my forte. But again, like I wouldn't be in that position if it wasn't for the scrum going forward and if it wasn't for the pick and goes before that. So it's a great team effort, all my tries. And I think that's the beauty of rugby is that everybody works together and then we got it down and it's a team, team try. Welcome to another episode of the Women's Rugby Show. This is the only digital channel championing the women's game and it has been a crazy weekend already with Saracens and Wasps playing yesterday in the first Tyrrells Premier 15 semi-final. And it was Saracens who made it through to the showpiece event on the 27th of April at Franklin's Park. And we have got another semi-final today, but I can't seem to find Adam anywhere. <laughs> Made it. Thanks for joining us. Where have you been? Well, give me a break. I just came from Allianz Park in North London <coughs> to the Twickenham Stoop in South London in like less than 24 hours. And to be honest, whoever said Twickenham was in London is an absolute liar, right? This is not London. Anyway, also, sorry, one more thing. Who decided that they were going to make two Tyrrell Premier 15 semi-final one day after the other? They don't know how bloody difficult it is to do a show, film it, plan it, edit it, get out in the same week. It's just ridiculous. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now on to the good stuff. Now, as Adam mentioned, we're here at the Stoop for another massive game at the end of the season. And it is the team who finished second in the Tyrrell's Premier 15 against the team who finished third, Harlequins Ladies versus Loughborough Lightning. That's right, Kirsty. It is going to be an absolutely cracker of a show today. We've got tons of content for you. First of all, Kirsty and I are going to preview this juggernaut of a game. After that, we're going to get some views and opinions from the fans. Again, this show is all about you. We're going to be bringing you match highlights, hopefully all of the tries. And also, we're going to finish with certainly my favourite part of the show, and that's going to be interviewing players from both sides absolutely. after the match. It's going to be a cracking show. We cannot wait to get started. But... Before we do any of that, we've got four very simple requests for you. First of all, please like this video. It means a lot to us. Secondly, subscribe to the Women's Rugby Show YouTube channel. There's a reason you're going to want to do that. We've got a really exciting competition for you at the end of the show, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. If you're on social media, and we know you're on social media, follow us at Women's Rugby Show. The accounts are here below. And finally, probably the most important thing, Kirsty. Yeah. Everyone, those of you that are watching this, tell your friends, your family, your teammates, tell everyone about the Women's Rugby Show. It means a lot and it helps spread the word about this show. As I mentioned, please keep spreading the word, but I am really excited for the show, so I said we just get straight into it. Come on, Adam, let's go. What? No, Kirsty, please, I, I can't move my legs. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to throw up. Okay, so it's time for us to preview the two teams playing the semi-final today, Harlequins Ladies versus Loughborough Lightning. And um, so what can we expect today? I will start with Quinns. Okay. So Quinns are in the Tyrrell's Premier 15 semi-final for a second year in a row. And on top of that, they'll be looking to make the final for a second year in a row as well. Um, and in do doing so, they'll be looking to make sure that they can go one step further by lifting that trophy this year as they did lose the 2018 final to Saracen 20 to 24, unfortunately for them. And on top of that, they've had a really, really impressive season. They've only lost twice all season, which is amazing. They lost away to Saracens 31 to 28 and 41 to 17 against their opponents today, actually, which is really interesting. But that was at the beginning of the season. Um, and they've just been in really, really strong form, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, they've got the top point scorers in, in the Prem 15s on an impressive 733 points. And on top of that, they've got the second deadliest um, defence against Saracens as well. Yeah. Uh, Saracens leading the way, but um, Harley Quinn's definitely up there. But, you know, it's so hard with Quinn's because they're so all-rounded and they're so well-disciplined. So it's really, really difficult to just pick one or two points where they can really cause a threat to Loughborough today. Um, but I would say definitely keep an eye out for Ellie Green. Uh, yeah. She's been in really, really impressive form and um, her kicking to goal is amazing. So definitely be uh, keeping an eye on her today. You need that as a fly half. Yeah, absolutely. She'll be, she'll be amazing. Um, and on top of that, I'd say Heather, Cab Heather Cow. Um, I reckon she'll be probably trying to add to her a very impressive 
uh, tries tally as well. So there is a lot of quality in Quinns. Absolutely. And so if you've uh, taken the home side, I guess I'll, I'll look at the away side. So Loughborough Lightning, Loughborough Lightning, they have had a season of improvement, absolutely. In the inaugural uh, Tyrrell Premier 15s, they finished fifth. They just missed out on that playoff spot. Whereas this season, they finished third. So there's definitely some improvement there. The question for them is, is third enough? Is this position enough to get to the semi-final and they can see it as a successful season? Or do they have to get to the final, maybe even win it, to consider this season a success? Now, um, head coach Reese Edwards has got 12 internationals to choose from, which I think is really important because as, we, as we've seen from Luckman Lightning over the season, they can be a little bit hit and miss. Yeah. So there are some games where they can just annihilate a side. So, for example, they played um, forward Waterloo Ladies and they knocked over 70 points on them and they were outstanding. Yet, a couple of weeks you know, after that, they lost to Bristol Bears, you know, which is just, that's a real Jekyll and Hyde side. Um, and I think with them, the biggest difference is if they've got their star players, that makes a huge difference because as we've seen with the Autumn Internationals and the Women's Six Nations in February of this year, when they don't have their top players, they don't fire on all cylinders. You never quite know what you're going to get, what team's going to turn into the Yeah, exactly, which makes today a little bit tricky to call. Um, if we're looking at their one or two, picking out one or two star players, obviously you're going to have to go for the likes of uh, their international players, their captain Sarah Hunter. She's fourth on the try scoring list in the whole of the two Premier 15s this season, which for a forward is, is outstanding. So obviously they'll be looking to her. Of course, Tallis women, Katie Daly McLean at fly half, Emily Scarrett at outside centre. Emily Scarrett is world class, there's no doubt about that. I don't think that she's hit top form yet when, since she's transferred over to the 15s game from the 7s. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how she does today. But if I was going to pick two or three players that I think will make a real difference for Lightning today, first one will be Kath O'Donnell in second row. It'd be really fascinating to see her battle, certainly in the lineouts between her England colleague, Abby Scott. Um, she works hard, she's industrious. But she doesn't always get uh, the, the praise that she so so clearly deserves. And then in the backs, um, I mean, I, I'm a back myself, so I always like to think the backs are, uh, make, make a lot of the difference. But in the backs, um, Jenny Maxwell at scrum half, she, she can be really excited, a really exciting player. And Carice Williams uh, as, as a winger, she's young, she's energetic, she's fast. So I think she could uh, make a real big difference today. I think it's going to be a tough one because, like you said, you know, never know quite how the team's going to show up with Love And Quinns have been in such, such good form towards the end of the season, so I'm pretty sure they're going to bring that here today. And they definitely, definitely will be making sure that they can try and be playing Ferris in the final. I'm pretty sure of that. So it's going to be tough for both teams, I think. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look, like you said, Quinns have hit form at just the right time. Uh, we've seen them on a couple of shows uh, over the last few episodes, and they are just all round. They're just a, an incredible side. They're organised, they're well drilled, they've got pace, they've got power. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's going to be a fascinating game today. Yesterday, uh, if you saw our, if you haven't seen our, our episode uh, for the first semi final, do go check it out. I predicted Wasps. Uh, I did predict Wasps, <laughs> and I was very embarrassingly let down, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to go for an away win today. I think I'm, I'm with you. Quinns have got too much quality all over the pitch. And um, yeah, I think they're going to face Saris in the final for the second year in a row. And for those of you who might not have watched yesterday's semi final, it was Saracens who made it, made it through 31 to 13 against Wasps. Although I do believe Wasps did, did have their moments. Yeah. It wasn't enough, but they well, had yeah. their moments. moments. Sure. They had moments, but they didn't have uh, yeah, they didn't have it all to get over the line. But anyway, look, that's enough from us. You've gone for Quinns. I've gone for Quinns, so let's have a look and see what the fans think. Okay, we're here with two Harley Quinns fans, so what are your score predictions for today? I think it should be a tight game, but I, I think Quinns will win by a couple of tries. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully a very tough team, Loughborough, but hopefully Harley Quinns tip it at the end. And Quinns are in such an impressive form towards the end of the season, how much do you think that will play a part today? I think there's two good squads uh, in, in, in the two teams today. All the internationals are playing, uh, come back to their club side, so I think it's going to be a great game of rugby. Yeah, great game of rugby and great sunshine, great weather, so yeah, hopefully. Anyone you're keeping a close eye on today? 
I just, I just think the uh, it'd be interesting to see some of the hookups, the, the two eights together, and the, the, the centre hookups. Um, some really good matches on the park, um, but I think it's just generally looking forward to the overall team performance. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, especially Jess Breach against her, um, her centre partner as well. Be great. And lastly, what is it about women's rugby that you guys like? Well, my, my daughter plays, um, so that's probably one of the reasons why I'm interested. But I think, um, as you saw from the game changer, the, the standard of rugby and the, and the ball through hand is, is just is magnificent. I think some of the, uh, if you like, some of the old style of rugby that's played is played by the women's. Uh, lots of lots of movement through hands hands uh, along the line and uh, very very fast ball as well. So I think it's it's just come on so much in the last three or four years. I work for Harlequins actually in the shop and I've seen that Harlequins ladies has gone from strength to strength as of this year so yeah a lot of exciting times to come. Perfect thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with three Loughborough fans so what do you what are your score predictions for today? I'm gonna say that Loughborough is gonna win but it's quite it's gonna be a quite close game between the both teams. Yeah. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be quite a physical game as well yeah. both teams will be fighting for that final position. And uh, obviously Saracens have made it through to the final, so if they get through it's going to be a, a tricky one. How would they uh, overcome Saracens if they make it through to the final? Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's more of the mentality issue that we have, so I think getting over that and getting hyped for it and seeing how they go in the game, because they've got the skill level, it's just getting into their heads sometimes when the pressure's there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd go with that, Jody. Because we played, we played Sarries a couple of weeks ago, and it was literally in the last couple of seconds that obviously Sarries beat them. So it is just that pushing, keep going till the yeah. final whistle, I guess. And of course today they've got to get over the first hurdle of beating Quinns, uh, and Quinns obviously topped them just in the table. Mm -hmm. So um, what what do you think? What areas do they have to beat Quinns in today? I think defensively, that's one thing that they need to focus on and not letting them get in, um, as we say, the A's, B's and C's, yeah. and also making sure that there is no gap in the defensive line. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, mentality as well, and getting their head into the game early on in the game as soon as possible. I'd probably just say being switched on from the get-go and like res like responding to anything that happens on the pitch, because it's all great and well like having like your shapes and your set pieces, but... In the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's whatever happens on that pitch. Really, you just got to play to the whistle and hope it goes for the best. And Lassie, who do you think uh, will be your star player today? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a very tough one because they all play very well. They're all really good players as well, and as a team, they work phenomenal together. Both teams actually. Um, so it's hard to say. I, I really, I, I can tell be able you. To call it. There's so many like key players to the Loughborough team mm -hmm. that it's probably a team performance rather than a single exactly. performance. What is it you love about women's rugby? I think it brings women especially out of their shell that they usually wouldn't. Um, especially in the past, uh, I personally have been brought out of my shell and I think you get such a diverse um, group of people, especially in women's rugby. I mean, you get a police officer, you get someone who's working in the NHS, you get students, you get everybody. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's great. Absolutely love it. You make friends for life. You do. You really do. You yeah. make friends for life, and they, they they'll help you through so many different problems that probably like school friends that you don't keep in touch with anymore. And mm -hmm. because you travel quite a lot as well for games, you get to know people on a, probably a deeper and like more personal level. So you do really make like friends, as I say, for life. You do. You do. Perfect. Thank you so much. Cheers, thank you. I hope
They may be at the same venue where they put on a fantastic show in their game changer match against Gloucester Hartbury on the last day of the regular season, but it's a different side to the one which won 62 to nil. England forward Shauna Brown starts at blindside flanker today, having featured a tight head prop in the last match. Chloe Edwards moves into the front row. Also in the pack, Fiona Fletcher shifts into the second row to start alongside Abby Scott. This means Chloe Butler and Deborah McCormack start on the bench. The back remain unchanged, but among the game changers on the bench is Locke Zoe Sena, who returns to the side after a long injury spell. The Lightning have a fully fit side to choose from in this mouth-watering encounter, including 12 internationals, as we said. Head coach Rhys Edwards has called upon what he considers to be his strongest side for this game, but England flanker Joe Brown is on the bench. Emily Totosi, Kath O'Donnell and Rachel Malcolm are recalled to the starting 15, with Georgia Bradley moved from lock to back row. Jenny Maxwell returns from sevens duty to start at nine, and there's a shuffle across the back with Carice Williams, Emily Scarrett and Olivia Jones returning to their usual positions of wing, centre and fullback respectively. Ellen Ramsbottom and Rona Lloyd also return to the kickoff side. We gon' break up, then we make up Act like we're gonna be friends There's the fire, take me higher Leave it all over again, all over 
over again Leave it all over again All over again Leave it all over again We gon' break up Then we make up Act like we're gonna be friends There's the fire Take me higher Jay, congratulations, you are through to the Chirrell Premier 15's final. How was it out there today? It was tough. It was definitely one of the hardest games I think I've ever played in my whole career so far. Um, it was a full 80 minute shift from absolutely everybody and everybody that came on the pitch absolutely stepped up, so fantastic team effort. You've got two sides there that obviously finished quite close together in the Tyrrell Premier 15's table. Did you know today that it was going to be a battle? Absolutely. Like We all knew that it was going to be a massive fight and we had to step up on the pitch and that's what we did. Like Loughborough really took it to us and they did not make a single thing easy. So to come away with the win today was absolutely fantastic. Let's not forget as well that you are up against your opposite number, England captain Sarah Hunter. It must feel good to maybe get the better of her. <laughs> it's always good to play against Sarah Hunter. You know She's a very talented player. So to play against her and to come away with a win after all, it's great. Um, but you know a great, great team shift and um, with a good scrum, there's lots that you can play off going forward. Did that make the difference today? Was it the set pieces? Because I think both sides maybe could be guilty of giving the ball away during the set pieces. What what did make the difference today, do you think? I think it's just individually. Individual players that stepped up. Every single player stepped up. So it was a whole team performance because when you've got every all 15 on the pitch having a good day, then you know that you're all going to work together really well and that's exactly what we did. And of course, not you know, don't want to single anyone out, but you did score two tries. Which one was your favourite? Oh, they're both always fun. Obviously, pick and goes are always my forte. But again, like I wouldn't be in that position if it wasn't for the scrum going forward and if it wasn't for the pick and goes before that. So it's a great team effort, all my tries. And I think that's the beauty of rugby is that everybody works together and then we thought it down and it's a team, team try. Absolutely. And looking ahead now to the final, last year you faced Saracens. This year you're going to be facing Saracens. 
is it a case of it doesn't matter who's there, you just want to go out and win, or is there a case of getting revenge this year? I think, yeah, like obviously there's always going to be we want to beat Saracens, but we want to beat everybody that we come out on the pitch with. So it's just another game, it's a final, it's a big, there's lots riding on it, so we're going to go out there like it's, we're going to focus on us. And if we focus on us and play together, then hopefully the outcome will take care of itself. Brilliant. Well, look, congratulations. You were the player of the match today. Thank you. You're through to the final. Jay, thank you very much. Thanks. Jay, thanks for joining us. Uh, commiserations, that was a fantastic game. How was that for you? I think it's, it's always going to be gutting, isn't it? You're never going to come away and be like, yeah, happy. But I think the girls left everything out there. Everyone tried their hardest. And at the end of the day, I think it was Quinn's discipline, especially around the breakdown, which won it for them. It was a fantastic first half. It was 5 all for the majority of the first half, actually. So I actually thought you guys might have, might have done it today. I did too. I had the belief. But again, I think we always said, as we were talking through the week, that it was going to be the last 20 minutes to 10 minutes that really clinched it. And I think they held on and we maybe got a bit scatty and a bit broken. And yeah, it was the last few minutes that really, really sealed it for them. What do you think were the deciding factors for the loss today? Um, as I said, I think the breakdown was quite key. I think sometimes we just let Quinns into it. We didn't quite secure our breakdown and they were very good at firing, especially when we were kind of relaxed and we allowed them to. Um, and I also think some things just didn't go our way. Sometimes in a rugby day, things come to hand, things go to fruition and things don't. And today just wasn't our day. How have you found this season at overall? Oh, I've loved it. Um, it's been my first season with Lightning. It's been a, bit of, been a bit up and down with, for me with like injuries and things like that. But the team we've got, and especially the talent coming through, means that no matter who's in or out, there's not that much change in the quality of the team. And you really know you're fighting for places. Back row especially, there's about seven girls all there who could start in that jersey. So I think having that competition and having everyone behind wanting to push you forward really makes it a great environment to train in. So um, Saracens and Quinns in the final, who do you reckon are going to do it? <sighs> I'm going to be fair and say Sarri's won it last time, so I think I'm going to back Quinns. Um, if they stick how they did today and they keep the fight through 80 minutes, I think they'll, they'll clinch it. And lastly, what are you looking forward to now that the season's over? Um, <laughs> I think for me, just trying to build on my own personal fitness, build on the skills, and as a team, come back ready, fight for next year. We're quite fresh, we're two seasons in, so if from the first season came fifth, second season we're here now, imagine what we can do in the future, so I think watch this space. Thank you for joining us, that was a great game today. That's all right. well thank you very much. Hi. Emily, thanks for joining us, that was an amazing game, congratulations, how was that for you? Thank you, um, it was really hard in all honesty, really, really hard. We knew um, coming into the game, like semi-finals, they're meant to be tough, they're meant to challenge you, um, and I think the fact that we come out on top after that um, just makes it even sweeter, so on to the final now. Yeah, so today was the second in a row semi-final, and the fight, you'll be going to the final against Saracens for the second year in a row as well. Yep. Um, what do you think that's going to be like? Um, well, I wasn't involved um, last year in the final, so it's new experience for me. Um, we've had a really good season. I think we've built throughout of the year. Um, obviously, Saracens' only loss was here um, to us, so um, I think we're in a really good place. Um, and if we show up on the day, then you know, it's all to play for. What do you think were the main factors for the win today? Uh, grit and determination and a lot of lot of hard work. Um, we knew that they had threats all over the park um, and we'd done a lot of preparation on how we were going to uh, combat that and nullify that. So, um, you know, we, we executed as well as we could and that's ultimately what led us to the win. You said it was difficult. It was 5 all for the majority of the first half. What, were you, what was going through your mind in uh, the first half? And it was quite tight, really. Yeah, it was tight. Um, but we knew that it was going to take time to break down. You know, um, no one wants to play in games that are like 50 odd nil. Um, and we knew it was going to be a challenge. And but we we believed like there was no panic, no panic in the change room at half time. We just knew we had to stick to our processes and that we'd come through in the end, which is exactly what happened. And what are you expecting from Saracens? It's going to be a, a tough one on the 27th of April, but surely it'll be a good match? Yeah, it'll definitely be a good match. Um, get yourselves down there, be there. Um, it's, going to be, it's going to be a battle, and, and that's exactly what we want. Two sides that are at the top of their game, fighting it out for the, for the title. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And on top of that, there's been a great attendance here today, and that's fantastic for women's rugby. Um, how much does that keep you guys going, seeing the turnout here today? Yeah, um, we're really privileged to play at such a fantastic stadium, um, and to get the amount of people through the door that we do every week, whether it's for a semi-final or just a normal league game, um, it, it's brilliant. And as players, it really motivates you when you see people around the stadium cheering you on, singing the Quinn song. Um, that's something quite special, and it's something that other teams don't have. So we're in a really privileged position, and, and we want to on a show for the spectators that have come and supported us. Well, congratulations to you and the team and best of luck against Saracens on the 27th. Cheers. Sarah, commiserations, really sorry about today's result. It was a tough game out there. How, how did you feel about it? 
yeah, it was like a full 80 minute arm wrestle. Um, in the first half, like could have gone either way. And to be honest, like we kept fighting to the bitter end. Um, like showed the team strength and resilience to score that last try. Um, but hats off to Quinns. They, they put out an 80 minute performance. They did. Well, I mean, you both sides had really strong lineups. Did you feel going into it? Um, obviously, you had I think it was 12 internationals out there. Do you feel that with that side you could have won today? Yeah, definitely. We came we came in into this game feeling really positive and, and anything could have happened. We came in wanting to win it um, and putting a, a marker down, but unfortunately things didn't go our way. Let's look at the positives. Yeah. Loughborough Lightning last season finished fifth. Yeah. You've now finished the season in and into the semi-final. I mean, you must be happy with that overall. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's massive progress. We're still like a relatively young team. Yeah, we've got a lot of international experience, but we, we are still quite young and second year in, in the new Prem Tours 15s. And we are building, like it, it will come um, to go from fifth to playoffs is a big step forward. And hopefully next season we can step forward again. It must have been tough uh, in one sense, must be quite pleasing in some sense, to come up against your international colleague, Jade Conkle. Talk, talk to us about her. She got two tries today. Yeah, uh, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously part of the Wolf Pack a couple of weeks ago um, in Six Nations and, and we know what she can bring. She's a, a feisty ball carrier, awesome in D. So um, it, I guess it's just that sort of rugby rivalry, isn't it? You know what you're coming against, it's a bit of camaraderie, um, but is what it is we know our strengths we know uh, we know well, she hasn't got many weaknesses but um <laughs> no it's quite good to come up against her yeah does it make uh, i guess matches such as this even more enjoyable to know that you're going to be coming up against a friend i suppose yeah i guess it is it's a bit of rivalry there a little bit of bants going on before the game so yeah it is is good to come up against them yeah well look the season is now over for you what's yep. what's your plan for the the summer i guess oh rest recover get robust uh, ready for pre-season to kick on again. And finally, speaking of pre-season, looking ahead to next year, how far can Loughborough Lightning go? Definitely in it to win it. Like If we kick on as we have done uh, from last season, do the same next season, keep building, um, there's no reason why we can't be in contention to, to get to the finals and, and take the title. And all right, I've got one more question. The final has been confirmed. We know it's Saracens against Harlequins ladies. Who is your pick to win the whole thing? Oh, can I say? Is this a thing? I don't know. Uh, uh, that's tricky. We've still got Scottish players in both teams. Uh, well, if see if Quinns win, then it means that, well, we fell short of the winners. But I don't know. Anyone's game. I'm being diplomatic here. I don't know. She's being diplomatic. Well, listen, Sarah, thank you so much. Really sorry about today, but um, you know, congratulations on a strong performance, and we wish you well for next season. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So that's it. Quinns have made it through to the final. They will be taking Saracens on on the 27th of April at Franklin's Garden. But it was a really, really tough game against Loughborough Lightning today. Definitely was not an easy win for Quinns. It was five all for the majority of the first half. So we wasn't too sure which way it was going to go, but Jay Conkle got player of the match. She was on fire today, wasn't she? Absolutely. Look, when you've got a player uh, of Jay Conkle's standard in the side, I think, you know, uh, it's going to benefit any team. She grabbed two tries, she was the difference, but both of these teams, it could have gone either way. At the end of the day, Harlequins, as we said at the start, probably a more well-rounded side. Um, and it's going to be a fascinating final between Saracens and Harlequins, that's yeah. for sure. I mean, I think Quinns are going to go in knowing that it's going to be a really tough game. They lost to Saracens last year in the final, um, so they're going to have to bring their A game, definitely. Um, but they were really good at the scrum today. Their phase of play was really good as well. Um, they seemed to break down Loughborough quite well. Um, but Jay Conkle, I mean, those first two tries just propelled Quinns on today to that win, I think. Definitely, definitely. I think and if, if you're a Loughborough player, you can't really be too disheartened, as we've said. No. They've, they've progressed season on season and there is a lot of potential in this side. Between them and Wasps and Saris and Quinns and Gloucester Hartbury, all the other teams that are going to be strengthening over the summer, it's going to be a really exciting season next year, that's for sure. I, I think if I was Loughborough today, the way I'd be seeing it is that we keep progressing, we progress from last year and next year we go on and we try and make that final progress even more and that's what you can do. Um, and for Quinns, for them, it'll definitely be eye on the prize this year, lifting that 
trophy beat his Harrisons they would definitely won't, won't want to come away with another loss like last year absolutely I think they the players won't say it but the name of the game is revenge 100% revenge yeah sure. and that's how I'd be going into that believe me <laughs> well let's hope that maybe you can get out on the pitch in the final yeah, you anyway. never know <laughs> well listen thank you very much for watching this episode of the women's rugby show as usual we've got four four things that you need to do but before we do any of that we've got a really exciting competition that we get to bring to you right now okay guys really exciting time now it is competition time and we've got two tickets to give away to the final day of the hsbc sevens tournament in twickenham later this year now these we don't want them we are definitely giving them away to one of you so all you have to do three very simple steps to get involved number one subscribe to our youtube channel the women's rugby show nice and simple number two follow us on social media it can be twitter or instagram doesn't matter at women's rugby show and number three once you've done that send us a dm a private message with your youtube name so that we can go and check it and verify that you are following us on youtube and once we've done that, we're going to do a lucky draw and one of you guys will be winning these two tickets. So, cannot wait to give these away. Really excited for you to win it and we wish you the very best of luck. So there you go, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to give those tickets away. What do you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be a great event. Fast, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant, right. Well, listen, before we go, please make sure you, of course, number one, like this video, Number two, subscribe to the Women's Rugby Show on YouTube. Three, follow us across social media at Women's Rugby Show, Twitter, Instagram, we're on Facebook as well. But most importantly, number four, please, please, please tell everyone about the Women's Rugby Show. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much. I'm Adam Zolte. I'm Kirsty Schultz. Thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. See you in the final. <laughs>